This video is for the fifth grade website project assignment six graphics. First, you're going to go to Weebly.com and click on login in the top left corner or the top right corner rather. And then you're going to click on G plus login. Next, what you're going to do is if it pops up with this white window, you're just going to click the X in the top left corner and then click on edit site. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new tab and you're going to do a search for a picture. So um, you're basically going to put a picture on the side of your text. Um, and so then you're going to click on images, um, find a picture that you like. And then once you find the picture that you like, you're going to just um, go ahead and do a two finger click on it and choose save image as and then you're going to click on google drive and click on save so then you're going to go um, back over to weebly you're going to click and drag an image box to go on the side of your text now it might end up going on the left hand side of your text but um, if it does and you want it on the right you can just click and drag it over to the right so I'm going to do that right now. And then you're going to click where it says, um, it's really hard to see here, upload image. It's right there. Um, you're just going to click on that. And then you're going to click on upload a photo from your computer. And then you'll click on Google Drive. And you should see the picture that you just saved. So you'll click on that. And then you'll click on open. Next, you'll have the ability to change the size of it if you'd like. So um, if you click on the picture, um, a little dot will appear in the bottom right corner. You can um, click and drag to make it bigger or smaller or whatever you want to do. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to click back over to the picture and we're going to click on visit page because we're going to create a citation for this picture. So you're going to click up at the top to highlight the URL. Do control C on your keyboard to copy it. Then you're going to open up a third tab, and in that third tab, you're going to go to easybib.com. And then from here, you're going to click on all 59 options, then you'll click on digital image. There's digital image right there. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to um, describe what we see in the picture. So in my case, it happened to be freedom trail sign. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And next, I'm going to click where it says URL, do Control V to paste it. And then I'm going to click the yes next to display URL. And then I'm going to click where it says today in order to put today's date. And scroll down to the bottom, click on Create Citation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the um, citation. So we're just going to put your pointer at the beginning of it and then click and drag across to highlight it. Then do control C on your keyboard. You'll go back over to Weebly. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the picture and then you're going to scroll down with a little um, window that appears. You're gonna click on caption and then you're going to hit control V on your keyboard. And so there's our citation and then you can just click anywhere in any white blank space. And then um, you might notice that it gets small for a quick moment, but anyway, then you're pretty much all set. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a map. So we're just going to click and drag the map box um, and we can put it right underneath the, um, the picture. If it ends up being huge, like this one is gigantic, you can always um, put your pointer on this little box that appears up at the top and kind of move it around. Um, but it's totally up to you if you want to make it smaller or larger or whatever you want to do. Um, but anyway, so in this case, we probably would want to make it, you know, this size right here and we can put it directly underneath the, um, the Freedom Trail sign. All right, but anyway, um, so then what you're going to do is you're going to open up another tab and then you're just going to search for the address of your location. So I'm just going to do Freedom Trail address and then I'm going to um, go ahead and copy it. So for example, I find right here, 
Um, it says zero Charles Street, Boston, Mass. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. So highlight, control C, then go back over to Weebly, and then we're gonna um, click on the map, and then it's gonna say San Francisco, California, but you're just gonna erase that, and then you're going to do control V on your keyboard. Um, see, it comes up with that address, and then you're going to hit enter. Um, and then just click anywhere in the white space in order to escape out of there. And so now notice that it gives you a map that's actually in Boston. Um, so then the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to add um, a little text box to go underneath the map. Um, so anyway, it kind of ended up scrolling a bit crazy. So just going to, there we go. All right. So we're going to put the text box so that it goes um, directly underneath the map. So in this case, it kind of got a little messed up, but anyway, there we go, underneath the map. Um, and then we'll just type in the word address and colon, which is shift and semicolon. And then we'll just go ahead and do control V on the keyboard. And so now we've got the address of the Freedom Trail as well. And that's it.